Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mahan. And today we will understand how to plot the ROC curve in random forest in NINE. Random forest is a machine learning algorithm that is used for classification and regression tasks. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple decision trees to make a more accurate and robust prediction. In a random forest, a large number of decision trees are constructed on different subsets of the data set. Each decision tree is constructed by randomly selecting a subset of features and a subset of data points from the original data set. During the training process, each decision tree is trained independently on its own subset of the data. Once all the trees are trained, they are combined to make a final prediction. The final prediction is made by taking the majority vote of all the individual tree predictions. You can see here, a single data set we will run multiple decision trees and we will get multiple results. But the final result will be done, will be given on the basis of a majority voting. Then comes the concept of out of bag prediction. Out of bag predictions are a concept in a machine learning algorithms, particularly in ansible methods such as random forest. In this method, the algorithm creates multiple decision trees by using the different subsets of the data for training each tree. Out of bag predictions are the predictions made by each decision tree on the data points that were not used for training that particular tree. You can see here in the original set, we are having A, B, C, D. When we'll run the decision, uh, when we'll run the random forest in bag one, we are having bootstrap sample patient A and C. As B and D are not there, when we do the prediction of B and D, it is known as out of bag prediction. In bag two, we have considered A, B, C, D. So we, the, we, we don't have anything in out of bag. In bag three, patient A and D are considered. So patient B and C is for out of back prediction. Confusion matrix, I've already explained in all my previous video, kindly refer it. Now on the basis of this confusion matrix, we get true positive 2894 and true negative 11750, which is considered to be the correctly classified cases. 643 and 994 are misclassified cases. So our classification accuracy is 2894 plus 11750 divided by, the, divided by the total of all these four cells, which will give me the classification accuracy. We want this classification accuracy to be more than 0.8. AOC is a measure of overall performance of the classifier, which ranges from 0.5 to 1. 0.5 is just a random guess, and 1 is a perfect classifier. The higher the AOC, the better is the classifier at distinguishing between the two classes. The accuracy of the test depends on how well the test separates the group being tested into those with and without the disease in question. Accuracy is measured by the area under the ROC curve. An area of 1 represents a perfect test. An area of point represents a worthless test. So, if you get an AOC between 0.90 to 1, it is an excellent. 0.80 to 0.90, good. 0.70 to 0.80, fair. And below this, poor and fee. A receiving operating characteristics curve is a graphical representation of the performance of the binary classification classifier system, such as logistic regression, new bias, decision tree, random forest, as, as its discrimination threshold is varied. The ROC curve plots the true positive rates against the false positive rate at various threshold settings. You can see here the ideal ROC curve is when it passes straight, overlapping the y axis and then horizontal overlapping the x-axis. That is an idealistic situation where the classification accuracy has been is 100%. There is no misclassification. The diagonal dark color line is the line of 0.5, a random guess, where we are not providing any model. This red and blue color lines are for model 1 and 2. Naturally, the red color model, uh, the uh, method 1 is better than method 2 as it is having more area under it. And therefore, we can say that model 1 is better than model 2. Now, how we can run ROC? Let's see in 9. So, for this, I will activate input output node from here. I will browse the data set. G drive. Predictive analysis. My data set is in CSV format. That's the reason I have activated the CSV node. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. I request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of these tutorials. 
right click on it and see the file table now we want to predict the heart disease on the basis of age resting blood pressure cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise so i'll activate the column filter node so that i'll only consider those variables which are matter of my interest or in other words we want to create the model considering only those variables configure i'll take all other variables on left side and only include age resting blood pressure cholesterol maximum hours of exercise and heart disease click okay right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the filter table you can see only those variables are considered from which the model will be created now activate the partitioning of the partitioning right click on it and configure we want to divide the data set into 80 20 80 percent will be used for training and 20 percent will be used for testing based on stratified sampling of the target variable heart disease click ok right click on it and execute you can right click on it and see the first partition which will be used for the training purpose you can again click on it and see the second partition which will be used for the testing purpose activate the random forest from here Learner. Right click on it and configure. Make sure hard disease is our target variable. Click OK. Execute. Again, activate random forest predictor. You should disconnect this line. We want, we want the data set. The testing data set should enter the predictor. The predictor will get its learning from this node and the data set from this node. Right click on it configure make sure that you tick on change prediction column name one append overall prediction confidence two and append individual class probabilities so if you want you can uh, prefix with some name at present we don't want this click ok right click on it and execute now again right click on it and see the prediction output so this is the classification done according to the algorithm and this is the classification or rather this is the original data we want to see how well our prediction fits to the fits to the original data so for this i will activate the scorer from here right click on it and configure hard disease original data prediction hard disease click ok right click on it and execute Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion matrix. So, 46 plus 82 are the correctly classified cases, 128. 46 plus 82 is 128. Misclassification has happened in 56, 20 plus 36. Now, we want to generate the ROC curve. So, activate the ROC. Double click on it. You'll have to disconnect these two lines. One, two. Right click on it and configure. Uh, we will have to activate prediction uh, heart disease. Yes, but we don't have uh, individual class uh, prediction. So what we will do, we will again go back here, configure and we will have to change some settings here. And I will write down here. suffix apply okay probability execute again configure so we got the probability this one pro so take all the variables on left hand side and only include the probability of heart disease yes so heart disease original data yes and predict prediction heart disease yes click ok still we are having cross here no need to worry go in configure general plot options create image at plot click ok right click on it execute again right click on it and see the image quite good you can see the predict uh, 
the probability is 0.731 or in other words the area under the under the curve is 0.731 now how will i interpret this so i have written the interpretation here let's make this as 0.731 and this also as 0.731 An AOC value of 0.73 in an ROC curve indicates that the support vector machine has a reasonable level of discriminative power in distinguishing between the positive and negative classes. An AOC of 0.731 suggests that the model does not have a very good ability to correctly classify positive instances as positive and negative instances as negative. In other words, the model predictions are just better than the ran random chance, but there may be many misclassifications or overlap between the two classes. So this is a way you can generate the ROC curve in random forest in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on NIME.